This is the short presentation of METIR. In this study, we solve activity recognition and user recognition tasks jointly. First, let me introduce some existing problems. For activity recognition, most methods merge all the data from all training users. The variations in how users perform activities are usually ignored. And because of that variation, activity recognition accuracy usually drops when a well-trained model is applied to new users. Secondly, for user recognition, most methods can identify users only by walking data, which limits its application in daily life. Extending user recognition from walking to other activities is valuable but also challenging, as there are significant differences between the sensor data in different activities. So, to address the problems mentioned above, we propose METIR, which solves user and activity recognition jointly. For activity recognition, by introducing user-related knowledge, it can take users' characteristics into account. For user recognition, with the guidance of activity-related knowledge, it can automatically adapt to current activity. This is the overall framework of METIR. It contains two networks, activity recognition and user recognition networks. There will be some interactions between them. In each network, the time window first goes through a convolutional neural network and then a bidirectional launcher to memory layer. Finally, attention mechanism will highlight important features by weights and these weighted features will be used for classification. METIR softly shares parameters between activity and user recognition networks and optimizes them together. Next up, I will describe the network structure with more details. So, specifically, the time window is transformed to two convolutional layers one max pooling layer, and then one more convolutional layers in the convolutional neural networks. Note that here, we will be using a tensor decomposition-based strategy to softly share parameters between the convolutional layers of activity and user recognition networks, so that the commonalities and differences across tasks will be exploited. Then, a single bidirectional launcher to memory layer will be used to capture the forward and backward temporal dependencies. It takes the flattened outputs of convolutional neural network as its input, and then it processes this input step by step from two directions. Finally, it concatenates the outputs into task specific feature vectors. Finally, we introduce mutual attention to deal with the task-specific feature vectors that we have obtained. Mutual attention help us exploit the knowledge from one task to highlight the important features of another. So here, for activity recognition, it learns the mapping from user features to the weights of activity features, which highlights the features that are suited to the current user. And also, for user recognition, it learns the mapping from activity features to the weights of user features, and it adjusts these weights according to the current activity scenario. Finally, these weighted features will be used for classification. And here is the entire structure of our network. In order to demonstrate the competitive performance of METIR, we compare it with the state-of-the-art activity and user recognition models. In our experiments, METIR outperforms all other activity and user recognition models, showing the strengths of exploiting mutual knowledge. 
For more details, you can find answers in our paper. Also, we'll be happy to answer your questions. Thank you so much for listening.